So you want to start a lawn mowing business, what equipment do you need? I actually get this question a lot every day. So I thought I'd make a quick video about what I started with, uh, what I run now, what my ideal setup is. Now my word is far from gospel, but this is just my experience. Now this video is aimed at someone that's you know, starting this up part time, probably doing small suburban lawns, small to medium sized yards. Now your requirements at the start are actually quite simple and all you need are a mower, a trimmer and a blower. If you've got that, you can literally start today. Now on the left here is the gear that I started out with, not the exact mower, but the same mower model. This is the actual trimmer I started with and the actual blower. On my right here is what I'm currently using and that cycles in and out depending on what I'm trying at the moment. But again, mower, trimmer, and blower. Now, in my opinion, if budget allows you, this is the sort of stuff you should be aiming for. And the reason for that it is it's more commercial gear. So it's heavier duty. It's gonna get the work done a lot more easily. But the downside of that is uh, it's a lot more expensive. So most important bit of gear obviously you need is a lawn mower. This is the model that I started with. It's a 19 inch push mower. It is a Honda, starts easily parts are readily available for it. That's a very important thing in my opinion. If something goes wrong with it, you wanna be able to get it fixed. Now this is a great little mower, definitely gets the job done. I didn't even look at self-propelled at the start because I thought I'm young, I'm fit, I don't need that. But the problem is when you are starting out, you're probably going to be getting some really ordinary lawns probably lawns that are quite spongy, lawns that don't get done often because you're taking a lot of work, pretty much whatever you can get at the start and that's where you'll start to struggle with these sorts of mowers. It's gonna be harder on you, it's gonna be harder on your body, harder on the mower. Again, you'll get through it, it's just gonna take you longer, you're not gonna be as efficient. Now these mowers, I think, are somewhere between about 850 and 900 Australian dollars. I bought one secondhand on Marketplace for about $500, and it was a great mower. Now if your budget does allow it, and you're serious about it, and you actually want to make some money doing it, I would recommend something like this, a commercial self-propelled mower. This is the Massport 21 inch contractor. It's got a big 190 cc engine on it. It is self-propelled, so it drives itself. Now these things are big, beefy and solid, and that's a little bit of the downside. You can be looking at anywhere from sort of 50 to 60 kilograms for one of these things. Obviously while you're mowing, it's pulling itself along, so that's not the issue, but loading it on and off your, your ute or your truck or whatever it is, and just getting it around can be a little bit more difficult than say a 30 or 35 kilo mower. You are gonna be a lot more efficient with a machine like this than something like that. That's gonna come at a price though. These things, commercial self-propelled mowers, you can look at up to a couple of grand, you can spend more, but a couple of grand will get you a nice self-propelled commercial mower. Now, one of the reasons I like this mower, and it's good when you're starting, because as I said, you will get some longer stuff, some unmaintained lawns. Uh, this one has a rear discharge facility here, so you can just take the catcher off and it throws all the grass out behind you, which allows you to get through uh, a thicker volume of grass then you can go around and bag it with the bag. Next thing you're gonna need is some sort of line trimmer. Again, a lot of new clients, you're probably gonna be doing some overgrown edges and that sort of thing. So this thing will probably get a workout. Again, the aim would be to get a uh, commercial, probably a two stroke unit. This is the one I started with. It's a Honda UMK 425, four stroke. Great thing about this is it's very easy to start. Parts are widely available for this thing. Again, it will get through uh, your overgrown, unmaintained stuff, but it's gonna take you a lot longer, be harder on the machine and harder on you. This thing runs, I think, somewhere between 550 and 600 Australian dollars. I've given it an absolute beating. It is still going. And the good thing is you don't have to mix up two stroke as it is a four stroke engine. Now, again, in my opinion, this is where you should be aiming a two stroke commercial line trimmer. This is the Husqvarna 525 LST. I haven't had this one long. I was running the FS94 still for a while. Great unit, gave that an absolute beating. I feel the Husqvarna and steel units that I just mentioned are the perfect balance between weight and power. Obviously you can get more powerful units, but they're gonna be heavier. So these things end up really good for maintenance stuff, but then if stuff's a little bit more overgrown, it will still get through it. Again, that's gonna come at a price. Uh, this unit alone is about 850 Australian dollars. I think the steel unit is a little bit cheaper, but in my opinion, you really do notice a step up from that to that. And like I said, when you're starting, you're probably gonna be doing some overgrown edges. So you really probably want something 
that has enough power to get through it because if you're spending all day on something, you're gonna be hating your life. Now this is a two stroke unit, so you do have to mix fuel for this, but that's not really the end of the world. Now you'll notice both of these blowers are battery units. The only time I muck around with a petrol blower is my big, big backpack one when I've got to do big stuff, but I'm a big fan of battery blowers. As far as what to get, I had this at home. Now this is quite a high end unit for home use. So I was lucky enough, it's quite an expensive unit. I wouldn't recommend you just go out and buy this for the blower if you're gonna invest in the whole still ecosystem, um, certainly. Now my recommendation would be to use whatever battery system you have at home, just go and buy the blower skin for that. Try not to use the small 18 volt ones. They just don't produce enough air. Now, if you haven't got any battery system at home, look for one that you want to invest further in in the future. So you might want to buy down the track a hedge trimmer or something like that. Have a look at the range of tools available for that manufacturer and invest in that system and build it up that way. Because if you start buying lots of different battery systems, it ends up costing you a lot more with batteries and chargers. Now, you can definitely use a petrol blower. If you've got one at home, use it. Don't spend the extra money uh, wasting it at the start but if you haven't personally i like battery blowers now this is the blower i'm using at the moment and milwaukee did send this out to me but i found i get a decent run time out of these two uh, m18 batteries enough for me if i've got anything really big or i've got to do big areas i use my backpack blower anyway again this is a very expensive bit of kit but there are plenty of options out there for you now you'll notice they are the only battery items i've had here both trimmers and both mowers um, are petrol I actually love battery gear. I've got a few battery mowers here. Love using them at home. And in my opinion, because of the types of lawns you'll be doing at the start, you know, they're probably, you're probably gonna be doing some longer stuff, some thicker stuff. And once you start doing that with battery mowers, um, the runtime really drops down. So unless you've got a ton of batteries, I'd be recommending starting out with something like this. You may get to a point later on where you've got a run worked out and you're mowing weekly or fortnightly with these things and you can just skim a battery mower over it. But at the start, I would recommend something in petrol. Now, if you've got any questions, let me know. If you've got anything to contribute, let us know in the comments. Be helpful though, don't just go, you're wrong. Tell us why I'm wrong, tell me what works for you. I've learned so much from my comments section. So more than happy for people to have their opinion. This is just my opinion. Again, it's not the final word, but this is where I started. This is what I'm using now. Hope that helped out a bit.